हे फ्रेंड्स मैनी कोडर्स थिंक वाइल कोडिंग इफ दे हैव द गुड नॉलेज देन ओनली दे आर गुड कोडर बट हेयर इज द कैच कोडिंग इज नॉट जस्ट अबाउट योर नॉलेज इट इज ऑल्सो अबाउट हाउ यू आर राइटिंग द कोड इन ए क्लीन मैनर इन फैक्ट आई थिंक बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस इन कोडिंग आर मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट देन वाइड नॉलेज ऑफ डॉट नेट बिकॉज इन सिंगल प्रोजेक्ट यू माइट नॉट बी एबल टू इम्प्लीमेंट ऑल ऑफ योर नॉलेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू नो एक्सटेंशन मैथड्स बट यू माइट नॉट इम्प्लीमेंट द सेम इन द योर प्रोजेक्ट बट यू हैव टू इम्प्लीमेंट द बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस इन ईच एंड एवरी प्रोजेक्ट Today I will share some best practices in .NET for coding. If you follow these best best practices then the person who will review your code will be impressed. First of all, why we need to follow the best practices? There are three simple reasons for it. Your code should be readable so that if some new team member will come in your project, then he or she can easily understand it. second reason is performance maybe your application is working fine now but now in dev environment you have only 3 to 4 users right tomorrow in production environment maybe thousands of users will use your functionality and then the performance might be slow because of not following the good coding practices and the third reason is reusability you should write the code in such a way that others can also reuse your methods if required so now let's see some simple but effective best practices which i normally follow when i do my own coding for my own project the first best practice for coding in dotnet is naming naming variables classes methods properties i know you will say it is very basic thing and everyone know this right so tell me whether this method up there get employee list name is correct or not now by looking at the name itself the other person can tell what is the purpose of this method right this is the quality of good naming convention but but still this method is not perfect the name because it is long enough and we can make it shorter and second thing is if you noticed the spelling of this uh, employees is not correct the better version of this method is like this get employees here we have removed the list from the name because it is unnecessary employees is plural which means the method will going going to get the list of the employees right so there is no need of writing the list this is not a major review comment and maybe some developers have a different opinion about this but the point is by looking at the name only anyone should be able to tell what is the functionality of the method that is more important similarly with uh, uh, while giving the names of the classes properties and variables uh, you have to take care of their names and please carefully check the spellings also because i know some people will think that we are technical people so we should not be bothered about the spelling mistakes but these small small things matters when you are coding next best practice in dot net coding is dry principle dry principle meaning do not repeat yourself meaning do not repeat the code at multiple places use inheritance common helper classes to achieve reusability in your code for example if you have some logic inside your method which you think can be used in some other methods of your project also then you should place or add this method as a helper method in a separate helper class and every time you are needing this method then you should call it from there so that other can also call it from there from the helper class so that is the reusability and this is the dry principle Next be best practice in dot net coding is maintaining the case of the class names method and local variables and properties. We have two types of popular cases in programming: camel case and pascal case. In camel case, first letter of the word is of a smaller letter. In pascal case, first letter of the word is of capital letter. now class names method names and properties name in c sharp should be of type pascal case same you can see above class method and property all start with capital capital letter 
नेक्स्ट इज कैमल केस लोकल वेरिएबल्स मैथड पैरामीटर्स नेम शुड बी ऑफ कैमल केस सी अब वेरिएबल स्टूडेंट आई डी एंड पैरामीटर फर्स्ट नेम बोथ स्टार्ट विद लोअर केस द मेन आइडिया हेयर इज टू मेंटेन द कंसिस्टेंसी ऑफ द थ्रू आउट द एप्लीकेशन अदरवाइज डिफरेंट डेवलपर्स विल फॉलो डिफरेंट पैटर्नस एंड लेटर इट विल बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड द कोड अनदर गुड प्रैक्टिस इन डॉट नेट इज कीप योर मैथड्स स्मॉल एंड सिंपल द रीजन इज देन इट इज ईजियर टू अंडरस्टैंड द मैथड फंक्शनैलिटी If you have a single big method, then break it into small small methods. For example, here is a method calculate salary. Now inside this, we have two separate methods: calculate basic and calculate HRA. So it is very clean, simple, and easy to understand, right? But if you will not create these two methods and put the whole logic inside calculate salary only, then it will be a big method, which is then difficult to understand. so try to keep methods short and simple and here is one practice which can be debated and that is comments whether a developer should put comments in code or not my view is no the reason is the method name should be self explanatory of self self explanatory for example here is a method calculate salary so by name the purpose of the method will be clear to everyone right then why should we put a comment like this method will calculate the salary of the employees this is the comment so ideally your name should be the, your name you should name the methods class properties variables in such a way so that there should not be any comments required some developers will say but might be a non coder will not understand the functionality by looking at the method name and that's why the comment is necessary but the thing is why on this planet earth a non coder will look at the code a non coder will never open the visual studio to understand the functionality of the application now i will not ask you to remove the existing comments from your project and if your project is following the comments practice then it is completely fine but this 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 is my thought actually about the comments So these are some of the best practices which are simple and easy to follow. I know there are many more best practices but these are like must to follow practice which I I have shared. In future I will share some more good practices in .net and interviews. For that like and subscribe the channel and if you have any queries then ask me in the comment section. I will try to answer them as much as possible and as soon as possible. Thank you and all the best for your career.